I recently opened a crazy mystery box that had Pokemon cards dating back to 1998. It had a first edition base set, two player starter deck, a complete set of gym heroes from Japan, and even a PSA graded first edition Dark Charizard from Team Rocket. A total box value, $1,529.20. And you know what else is crazy? As promised, I'm giving it all away. In that mystery box video, I asked you to tell me how you got into Pokemon, and 16 winners were selected at random to win all this stuff. In this video, we're gonna open most of these things so we can celebrate together. And if you missed out on this giveaway, don't worry, I got you right here. Remember, I'm on a mission this year to give away $40,000 worth of Pokemon cards right here on this channel. And this giveaway in this video brings our total up to $3,258, so we still got a long way to go, which means there's a lot more stuff to give away, which means you should subscribe so you don't miss out. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what's inside here and how to win it. Plus, it actually fits within the theme of this video, which is pretty cool too, so can't wait to share it with you. All right, well, let's award some prizes. I'm gonna mention the prize, then the winner's name, then I'm gonna share their Pokemon story, and if we're gonna open this thing, I'm gonna open the thing. Let's get this Poke Party started. Hi. All right, first up, we have our Neil folder or binder, which actually has nine cards in it. As you can see here, we got Total Dial here, we got Cyndaquil, and up here in the corner we got Chikorita. This is a nice little keepsake, and we're not gonna open it for you. We're gonna keep it sealed, and we're gonna send it to none other than our first winner for today, Morgan C. Congratulations, Morgan. Morgan said, I first discovered Pokemon when I was six, seven years old in elementary school, and from that day on, it has always been a passion for me. When I started middle school, I gave all my cards to some great friends of mine because I didn't use them anymore, but I still love the games. And then after some years, I discovered again this fantastic world and I'm freaking obsessed with it right now. Thanks for all you do and cheers from Italy. Cheers to you, Morgan. Thank you so much and congratulations. Let's move on to the next one. All right, prize number two, we have our Copperage V box, which I'm gonna open. We're gonna open the packs. We're gonna have some fun and celebrate together for our winner, Tizent Champ. I got into Pokemon watching the cartoons on Saturday mornings and played the TCG with my sister and friends. Now, 20 years later, I'm trying to get my daughter into the game, much to my dismay. The house is Pikachus and Eevees. Oh, how I miss my fire types. Well, hopefully we can have some fire pulls for you or maybe some cuties to share with your daughters. And uh, let's open this up. Thank you and congratulations to you. All right, so we got a Copperaja V promo card and a code card I'm gonna send your way to, plus a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, another Rebel Clash, Cosmic Eclipse, we'll save that for last, and another Rebel Clash. Dude, what if we pull that Charizard here? That would be really, really sick. We'll save those two for last, but let's go into Rebel Clash. All right, Leaf Energy, let's go quickly. Come on, let's pull something good. Ooh, Dragapult V, very nice. You'll see this in the Shining Fates Special Edition Collector's Box. Dragapult making a good appearance. All right, let's try this again. Rebel Clash. Maybe we can get a full art. Ooh, look at that, a Copperaja V Max. So we have now the Copperaja V, Copperaja V Max, Fire Pulls, three for three on the Rebel Clash. That'd be pretty sweet, actually. Let's try. Save all the cold cards for you too. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see if we can go three for three. Skyla, also featured in Shining Fates. All right, here we go. Oh, a Ninetales V, three, four, three on the Rebel Clash. Here we go, five for five in this box. This is an awesome box. All right, let's go Burning Shadows. Good luck, maybe we can get that Charizard. I hope I can send that to you. And let's go. What do we got, what do we got? Caterpie. Ooh, a Galissapod GX. We are four for four on this box. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. Can we go? Even if we get nothing here, seriously. What an amazing box here. I see some shine, no way. No way did we actually pull five for five on this box for you. That's what I'm talking about. We're giving away so much here this year. I cannot wait. Here we go. Three, two, one. A wishy-washy GX completely off-center, top to bottom. Look at that. 
we don't even see any silvering on the bottom, but hey, it's okay because we got some amazing pulls for you and we're gonna send these over to you and uh, you can determine how cute these are or not to give to your daughters or keep for yourself the Lissapod GX, the VMAX, very nice. All right, time for the next box and this is the Toctricity V box. And uh, we'll see how this one fares compared to that one. That one was pretty good, but hey, maybe we'll get some better pulls even on this one. For none other than our winner, Lucas Meets World. Congratulations. I first got into it when I was six and it was popular in the school. First cards I got was a Rayquaza tin. Now I'm hoping to get more and maybe rarer cards. Well, hopefully we can get some rare cards for you too. All right, Lucas Meets World. We got a Toxtricity V promo with Sword and Shield base, Cosmic Eclipse, Sword and Shield, and Evolutions. Wow. There's only four in here. There was five in the other one. Well, let's do Sword and Shield first. Lucas, let's get you some luck. Here we go. Congratulations. Let's keep this party going. Can we get a hit? Six in a row? Ooh, Noctel. Nope, that's okay. Hopefully saving the hits for the others. Either way, we're sending all these cards to you as a thank you for being here and subscribed. Haunter, that's nice. Grookey, starter. Jinchu, and ooh, Adelmice, V. Very good, we didn't go empty-handed, which is real nice. The anchor. Okay, we're gonna go Cosmic next. Let's see that Ash and Pikachu, that would be really amazing. All right, Lucas, this is for you. Let's all celebrate together, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Orcorio GX. Beautiful little card. Look at that. I've never pulled this one before. Nice work. Now let's see if we can finish this off. Then Evolutions. Charizard. Lucas, let's go. If we were live right now, we'd be doing fires in the chat for you. We got Kakuna, Full Heal, Machoke, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu, nice pull right there. Ponita, Nidoran, Coughing Reverse, and Mewtwo, okay. Mewtwo non hollow but still great. Let's find that Pikachu for you as well. And wow, I'm really excited for you. These will be headed your way, my friend. Lucas, thank you for being a subscriber. We'll get in touch. All right, next up, we got the lunchbox with Zacian and Zamazenta on the front, and this is going to Capri. Congratulations, Capri. I was into Pokemon when I was a young kid, had loads of binders with cards, which my mom threw away. No, are you kidding me? No. Kind of moved away from it as I got older, but these past few years, I've been really getting back into it. Would love to win something to add to my small collection. I don't really have anything super crazy yet. Well, hopefully we can get you something super crazy here in this tin. So let's open it up for you. Okay, so we got some of the starters here. We got Score Bunny, Grookey, and Sobble. Got Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Evolutions, there we go. Cosmic Eclipse and two base set Sword and Shield. So we'll pop those cards out for you in just a minute, but let's just get right into your packs. We're gonna start with the base set Sword and Shield and go from there. Capri, your story is not uncommon. Somebody throwing away the cards. Is this, okay, yeah. That that happens quite a bit. I had a lot of Magic the Gathering cards that uh, some of it got thrown away. Luckily, I kept some of it. And then I sold it, and I wish I didn't. Rookity Marnie. And a Whimscott. All right. Still on the Sword and Shield base. Come on, let's get a hit. Full picks. Muna. Ribaloom. And a Lapras. Not bad, but not really a hit. All right, here we go. Meowth and a Malamar. The upside down squid, right? Okay, Cosmic Eclipse, we're, we're striking out so far, but that's okay. All right, here we go. We gotta get something. A Mimikyu and Evolutions to finish it off. Saving the best for last, I hope. Surfing Pikachu, there we go. Secret Rare, we got a hit. 
and we just started this pack. So let's put that one aside and let's see what else we got. Polywag, Diglett, Seal, Coughing, and a Farfetch'd. All right, well, we got something. Surfing Pikachu, and I'm gonna throw in a little something extra in your baggie too, because we didn't really get any super good hits there, but we did get the Surfing Pikachu, and of course, these cards here, which I'm gonna take out very carefully after the video so we don't mess up the cards. All right, next up, we got the Inteleon V Tint going to Garum. Congratulations, Giram. Giram says, such a great video that Jim Heroes completes that is by far my favorite item. I got into Pokemon in 1990, 2000, when I was just a kid at 10, 11 years old. I got into Pokemon when our local TV station started sending the Pokemon animated series, and I fell in love with that show. I remember that summer running back and forth to the local store buying cards like a maniac. Me and my brother had such a blast, come to think of it. That was the only time we really hanged out together for the duration of our lifetime. Even up until now, we don't talk much anymore. So thinking back to that summer really makes me warm in my heart. God, I miss those times. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we could uh, bring back that memory for you. I wish that you and your brother could continue to chat and let's open up your tin and see what we can, what we can ship out to you. Pokemon brings families, friends together. My family and I play quite a bit um, and collect. And we have, it looks like five packs in there. We got Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield base, Cosmic Eclipse, Burning Shadows and Evolution, same as the last tin. So let's open up Sword and Shield Base and see what we get. All right, we got the Fire Energy. Speed through these, Great Ball, nice. Gengar, nice. And a Bolton. Bolton, yes. However, it is a Hollow. Is okay. Next up, fighting energy. All right, let's see some heat. Some heat more. And a Drampa on Hollow. Okay, let's go to Burning Shadows. Soul Rock. Ampor. Hand growth. All right. Not too much there. We did get the Bolton, but we're looking for a few more hits. See some shine back there. That's a good sign. See that? A bit of, a bit of flicker back there. That's good. That's good. Plus, we can always get the character cards where the trainer and their Pokemon are together. Ooh, Volcarona. Not bad, that's something. That's something. Volcarona GX. Very nice. All right, and then finally, Evolutions. Let's bring it. Charmander, nice way to start. Haunter, beautiful. Poliwhirl, Charmander, Ratata, Caterby, P. Magnemite, Voltorb, and Slowbro EX. Okay. It's a hit on Evolutions. Very expensive pack. Very nice hit, Slowbro, right there. So, Giram, this is being sent to you, and we'll get it out to you as soon as possible. I'll get in contact with you in the comment section. Okay, next up we have this two-player starter deck from First Edition. There is a uh, Machamp Hollow, I believe, in here which is really cool. So this I'm gonna keep sealed, not gonna open, and we're gonna send it to Nico. Congratulations, Nico. Nico said, I got into Pokemon when I was in the third grade. My mom and dad just divorced and me and my mom were moving and to distract me from everything, I got a DS with Pokemon Heart Gold. I love that game and I still have it. So many of us were introduced to Pokemon like myself with the video game. And a lot of times we do feel like it's kind of an escape, right? To things that are kind of tough in the world right now, which is why I think a lot of us are into Pokemon right now because the world's been tough over the past year. And so you and everybody watching this, thank you for being part of the community because together we can lift each other's spirits up. And Nico, congratulations to you. I'm gonna send this again. I'm not opening it to you. I'm just gonna put it aside because this is actually quite valuable. You can keep it and uh, do what you want with it, but congratulations. All right, next up, we got the Sun and Moon 
ETB. This is the Sun and Moon base Elite Trainer Box. And you know what? I was thinking about this. And Sun and Moon is, um, you know, it's getting older. And this Elite Trainer Box would probably be more valuable if it were sealed. Now, it's up to you, winner, whoever the winner is, uh, to do what you want with it. But I don't mind spending a little bit extra on this one in particular because I think that this... Um, many people have, have, have shown that the ETBs actually do increase in value quite a bit. Uh, the winner of the Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box is Sid the Squid 101. Congratulations. Sid the Squid said, My first card was a Cubone card given to me by a classmate shortly after my mom and I spent a summer playing Pokemon Go, and it was all downhill from there. Ah, we never forget our first, don't we? Anyway, that's awesome that you and your mom play Pokemon Go, and uh, hopefully you can keep this in your collection. It's a beautiful purple box, and yeah, I just couldn't, I just couldn't open this with uh, how old it is, and um, hopefully you enjoy it. Congratulations, Sid the Squid 101. All right, this time we got another Elite Trainer box, and we are gonna open this one. I'm just gonna send the cards and the promo. Our next winner, who is Omar Taha. Congratulations, Omar. You're awesome. Omar says, I started playing the video games when they first came out, my favorite still being Pokemon Gold and Crystal. I was never a big TCG collector, just an overall fan of Pokemon. And when my brother was old enough to collect too, he collected TCG. So we each enjoyed a different area of Pokemon. I'll let y'all read the rest. That's a lot. Congratulations. Still pretty blown away at how crazy this mystery box was. And guess what? There's gonna be plenty more. I have a lot of fun things planned for giveaways here. So again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that so you don't miss out. Rebel Clash, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Good luck. All right, let's see what we get. Love to see like a gold card or some full art. Magmortar. I just pulled a Magmortar actually from Call of Legends, which is a really cool set. Got Electivire, 0 for 2. Now, Rebel Clash was said to be not such a great set, although the value has been going up. It's not quite as uh, steamy, if you will, as Steam Siege. I think there is a full art trainer here that's pretty... Who is it? Sonia, I think it is. Okay, we got a hollow. Duragulon. There we go. Hey, there we go. The ice cube. Literally an ice cube. On a penguin. Full art from here. That would make sense, right? Okay, let's go. The Rillaboom VMAX. All right, in the right order too. Very cool. Omar, we're on a streak. Let's keep the streak going. All right, beware, Mr. Mime, Caterpie. Sonia. And a Malamar V. We are four in a row right now, which is awesome. Let's see what's in the last pack. Not bad. Not bad. And let's finish off strong. Love that far fetched, by the way. Ooh, an Aegis Slash. Non hollow. But that's okay because we got some pulls. We got some pulls, especially the Rillaboom. VMAX, beautiful looking card, not bad. Omar, we're gonna uh, send this over to you. All right, so next up we have the lot. Actually, there's four lots of raw cards here that we're gonna give away. There's about six cards in each lot, I think. And this first lot has a awesome looking Moltres Hollow from Japan, as you can see there. And uh, we're gonna give away all these to one person, Ivysaur, we got the Raichu, Lily, and a Sobble. So this is going to our next winner, Derek Huntley. Congratulations, Derek. Derek said, first got into Pokemon as a kid, kind of continued to follow it here and there, but recently got back into it with one of my kids really enjoying 
the artwork now. Awesome. Well, I hope you can enjoy this artwork, not the rubber band, but the artwork here in this lot for you. Congratulations, Derek. Let's move on to the next lot. Lot number two, a dark Alakazam from Rocket. We got the Incineroar Squirtle, Nidorino, an Oddish, and a Grookey. All right, so this is going to our next winner who is Hunter Breck. Congratulations, Hunter. Hunter said, I got Pokemon Silver for my birthday and from there it took off. Started collecting cards again about two years ago. Well, welcome back to the hobby and these are coming your way. Dark Alakazam being the feature card there. Congratulations. Lot number three. We see a Hollow Chansey from base set two. We got a Metapod, a Cynthia. What else do we got here? Ghastly, Dugong, and a Score Bunny. So this is going to get in the van UPSB. When I was in elementary school, some other kids brought their Pokemon cards to school. Sometimes that's what happens. You go to school, other kids bring things, you get into those things, you have a good time, and then you're on Deep Pocket Monster winning some stuff. That's how it works. All right, and finally, lot number four with the Dark Dragonite. Check that out from Rocket with the beautiful, is that like a double swirl in the upper left-hand corner? Look at that, did you see that? Wow, that is gorgeous. Then we have the Lycanroc, we have the Charmeleon from Tops. We have Blastoise EX, Dark Flareon, and Gloom. This was definitely the uh, most valuable lot of the lots. And this is going to our next winner, Royce. Royce Weinson. Congratulations, Royce. You got a good one. When I was eight, my grandma took me to a small gaming store near where we lived. They didn't have much, but Pokemon was the newest thing and I was absolutely obsessed. She'd take me there to buy two booster packs every weekend when I went to visit her all, and we'd open them together and look at all the art. This was the only time I was able to get with her and I cherished it. Looking back, those were some of my favorite moments with her before she passed. I gave most of my original set away a few years ago to one of my best friends, but I started collecting again a few months ago. Well, welcome back to the hobby. Thank you for sharing that memory about your grandma with all of us and uh, definitely pulls at the heartstrings and um, let's send these cards your way. Let's grow that collection. Next up, we had a couple small lots of booster packs. First, we had Cosmic, Burning Shadows, and Sword and Shield. Booster pack lot number two is Evolution, Sword and Shield, and Rebel Clash. A lot of Rebel Clash today. But anyway, the first lot here with the Cosmic is going to Purple 506. Congratulations, Purple. Played when I was a kid and my buddies and I bought some for fun and I pulled an XY Charizard Hollow first pack hooked. That's how they get you, isn't it? You get that first pull, then they reel you in. That's how it works, isn't it? Anyway, let's hopefully reel in some good packs for you here, starting with the Sword and Shield. All right, let's make it happen. Drizzle for Shizzle. All right. We got, ooh, a Regirock. Isn't that the thing that Max Mofo, or something like that? I don't know. I can't I can't do it the way he does it. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't, I just don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay, next up we got, what is this? We got Burning Shadows. Let's pull that Charizard. That would be pretty amazing if we were able to do that. But a very rare Charizard is uh, what that is. All right, let's see what we got. We got a Gyarados Hollow. That's awesome. One of the better ones for sure. Look at that artwork. Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon for sure. All right, we got a pull. All right, Cosmic Eclipse, good luck. Now we might get a character card. That'd be awesome, first one of the day. Leo, Pancham. All right, let's go. Eevee, good one. Eagly Buff and, ooh, a Swana. Okay, so we got the Gyarados, that's something. We'll send it over to you. And let's award the next lot of booster packs. Lot number two goes to PSA Treasure. Congratulations, PSA Treasure. In all caps, he says, saw the first episode live on release date. Ho oh flying when the episode ends lives in my mind forever. Wow. Well, I don't think there's any ho ohs here, but let's get some good stuff for you. Let's start with Rebel Clash. Congratulations to all the winners. We've got the big hitters coming up soon with the Gym Hero set from Japan, and of course the first edition Charizard, Dark Charizard, and then we got Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme. All right, next up, Sword and Shield. Thank you all again for the amazing comments and participation in the comments. We had over 6,000 entries for this giveaway, which is kind of insane. Pikachu, that's a nice Pikachu right there. 
This is from Sword and Shield Base. We got Cloister. Okay. Charizard, it's up to you. You gonna give us some fire? Let's see. One, two, three, and we got Poliwhirl. Potion, Lit, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu. Okay, that's something. Magmar and a Farfetch'd. Okay, so we got Pikachu and the Magmar. Not the best of hits, but still cards that you got for free. So hey, you don't even have to pay for shipping. All right, now comes the muscle. We got in this box, if you remember seeing this in the video, it was like a bunch of question marks. I, I had, it was like a mystery box in a mystery box. And then we pulled, as you saw, the Gym Heroes Japanese set, all of these cards to complete the set, including the band card with Misty Shadow in it. All the hollows, it's just gorgeous. Okay, so who is getting the complete set of Gym Heroes Japanese? That is going to none other than Connell O'Gara. Connell O'Gara, congratulations. Unlike most, I've only just started getting into Pokemon and I mostly got into it from YouTube, from YouTubers such as Randolph Pokemon and Leonhart, and then moving on to the one and only Deep Pocket Monster. I remember I started about three months before Logan's first edition base set box break. Since then, I've been buying Pokemon packs wherever I can find them, nowhere. Kind of crazy how Vivid Voltage was my first ever set, but the weirdest thing of all is that I opened less than 30 Vivid Voltage packs from then till now, and I recently pulled the one, the only, Rainbow Rare Chonky Pikachu VMAX. I sent it off to PSA, hoping for a 10, but it's 50-50. Anyway, thank you DPM for educating me on the Pokemon market and continuing to feed my addiction to Pokemon, even if I can't get my hands on the cards themselves. Well, you just picked up an entire set of Japanese gym heroes, uh, which is really awesome. I am just so stoked for you. All right, and last up we have our first edition, Team Rocket Dark Charizard at a PSA 8. When we filmed our mystery box video a couple weeks ago, this was going for about $300. Of course, prices will fluctuate and it's not about the price. It's about giving people access to cards that they don't normally get access to. And this is going to Oreo Days. Congratulations, Oreo Days. I got into Pokemon with my brother. He was watching Sun and Moon. I was wondering, what is, the, what is that? So I started to watch Pokemon and I love it. Sadly, I can only get one pack a month. Oreo Days, congratulations. This is gonna be a part of your collection now. And I don't know if some of the packs you've been getting are some of the older vintage stuff, but this is a vintage card headed your way, my friend. Congratulations. And finally, we have our mystery box. So I'm gonna open this up for you. And if you don't know what this is about, this is again, a reminder in here is something that you can win. I'm gonna show you what's inside. I'm gonna tell you really quick how you can win this because I'm gonna award it to one of you, a viewer. Even if you didn't enter this whole giveaway from the mystery box, this is a brand new giveaway because we're gonna continue the streak to get to $40,000 here on this channel, Deep Pocket Monster by the end of the year. And this is a part of that. So let's keep the show rolling. Let's open this thing up. All right, inside we got beautifully wrapped Deep Pocket Monster packaging. What do we got? What do we got? We have your choice of a Gym Heroes English pack or a Gym Heroes Japanese. So if you win this, you get to choose English or Japanese. In one week, I will select a winner from the comment section. You have to comment below with one weird fact about you. It could be any weird random fact. I just wanna to get to know you a little bit more as we grow our community together. So again, one fun fact or weird fact about yourself in the comment section below. One week from now, I will select a winner. I will reply to your comment, letting you know that you won. And I'll have you choose whether you want an English Gym Heroes or a Japanese Gym Heroes. And then you can tell me whether you want me to open it in front of everybody for a video, or I can just send it to you either way. Happy to do that. All the cards will be yours anyway. Congratulations to all the winners today and best of luck to you. Thanks for being here on Deep Pocket Monster.